Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So the polishes I'm going to be using today are Madame Glam and they are Winter, Teal and Goddess. I thought these colours would look really good together. Um, so I'm going to be using, obviously, tips again. Um, I will apply the first coat off um, on camera and then I will apply the second coat of the Winter Teal off camera. But I did apply three coats of Goddess. Um, just because I wanted it a bit more opaque because obviously these are clear tips so it's going to be sheerer um, This is a uh, 420 set So I'm just going to uh, continue applying the colours um, and then I will cure them <coughs> Sorry um, I do have a discount code for Madame Glam. Um, I will put it on the screen if I haven't done so already. If not, it's in my description box with a direct link and all of that down there. Um, and all products I use today will be down there as well. So coming up is the two to three coats. There you go. And then I will matte top coat them. Ta-da! Like magic. Um... <laughs> So, what am I showing you first? Oh, these are stamp and plate I'm going to use today. It's Mutin 057, and I'm going to use She Modern Sticky Stamp and Polish in pink and apple. Um, I do have a discount code for She Modern as well. That's in the description box. So, I'm just going to um, take some different images off of this, um, this stamp and plate. So, i uh, just going to move it around so I get a good pick up. Um, so I just pick the um, image up and then I will stamp it on so that's the first one there and then I will apply the second one give me one second sorry about that Ruby my dog is being a pain in the mm -mm. Um, yeah so um, I'm going to uh, apply this, um, these are the cushion pen chrome things, I think this is model ones I think So I've let that sort of like obviously dry just a little bit because I don't want to smudge it So I'm going to gently tap it on to cover the image, it takes so little So here we go, I'm just applying it on Just gently, just gently pushing it on, not too much pressure until it's completely covered and then I will go in with my finger and just gently rub around it so some of this does stick to the blue still but I do you know what I actually quite like how it came out um I probably should have buffed the matte top coat I didn't buff it I should have buffed it but I didn't um but there you go and then you just get a brush and take it off so I used this brush first because I noticed that there was quite a bit on there because obviously the matte top coat is um, porous so <clears throat> it just kind of everything will stick into it. So this is what it looks like. It looks really, really pretty. I really like, really, really like how that came out. There you go. I'm just showing you there. And then I'm going to go in with this image as well. I couldn't find my um, my She Modern Glow in the Dark pigments, so <laughs> I've um, I've used a different pigment. Um, but also, it will it will show you as well that you can use other brands of pigment and things with these uh, sticky stamper polishes. They're so good. So I'm just going to take off what I don't want, and then I will stamp it onto the nail. So here you go. I thought I would keep this set quite simple. So there you go, that's the image stamp there. So this is the glow in the dark pigment. I got a whole bunch of them off of um off of AliExpress. Um they're really, really good. So what you want to do is obviously <laughs> I'm using my finger because I hadn't already um put some of this into a pot, so <laughs> That's why I'm taking it out of the bag. I do need to um, pot some actually. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gently sort of pushing it in like I did with the other one. And then you will be able to tell when you've covered the whole image. If you kind of shine it into the light, you'll be able to see if there's still any shiny patches left. 
because obviously you want it to be to look matte um so yep i'm just checking it now and just continue applying it and just very very gently rubbing it round and then just brush it off and that's what it looks like very very nice and then here i thought i would stamp some in the pink so i will go in with the pink first i'll show you what i'm gonna do they're gonna be sort of like diagonal on the nail so i'm gonna pick up the pink ones first so there you go picked up them just gonna clean it up very quickly and then i will stamp it on the nail i needed a did i did i place one more i think i placed one more yeah because the top ones didn't stick so yeah so i took i took the two bottoms two bottom ones off because i didn't like how they were and then just stamped the top ones because I thought it would be quite nice to have something a little bit different. And then I will go in with the um, rose gold again. Just the same, exactly the same way um, I did the other one. So just very, very gently pop it onto the image. You don't want to push too hard because if you push too hard, you're going to smear it. Because obviously it's still drying. As you can see when the light hits it, it's still very shiny. Um... So yep, you just want to just continue applying it very, very gently. And then it will be exactly the same process. Gently go over with your finger, buff it in. Um, once they're all covered, you can kind of rub it up and down. As you can see here, once, once you know that the image is dry enough and it is fully covered, you could then start actually buffing it in. Because if you do it too soon and the image isn't completely covered, you're going to smear it all over the nail. So... Just look out for that. And then I will brush it off. And then we will add in some of the green. So I put way too much on there. I got distracted. <laughs> so I'm going to do this singly because obviously I want them in a particular place. Instead of picking up, you know, all the rows like I did last time, I'm going to pick up the rows. Uh, the rows um, individually so just gonna stamp this one on here there you go and then some tiny ones there and then the last one there and then I will go go in <laughs> go in with the glow with the glow pigment again and exactly the same process because the rose gold ones are already covered so um you won't get any of the uh, glow pigment mixing in. This is why, obviously, if you do it this way, if you do it in kind of sections, um, you won't, like, cross-contaminate the, the images. So there you go. Just going to buff it in. Buff, 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 buff. And then brush it off. And then that is what it looks like. So I'm going to use the clear. Um, the reason why I didn't actually show you what I did is because I changed my mind. So I'm going to go in now with the uh, Glow in the Dark uh, watercolour polish. I don't know what that stringy bit was. I don't know, but I removed it anyway. Um, and I'm going to create like smoke on this one. And what I did was I just literally just put a blowing fan on it just for a minute or two. You'll be able to tell when it's dry anyway because it will be clear. Oh, there you go. That's what it looks like when it's completely dry. Um, I didn't actually show you the rest of the images that I used. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing this now because I kept changing my mind. So <laughs> the end pictures are going to be completely different to what you see at the end of this. Um, I just kept changing my mind. It took me like three days to be satisfied. So I'm just going <laughs> to stamp the 420 and then um, apply the glow in the dark pigment again and then just wipe it off. 
so the pictures at the end will be different to what you see when I top coat so I will have glossy and matte pictures at the end and everything down below um, so all items used today and I will have glow in the dark pictures at the end as well well this is part of the uh, she modern collab so please head over and check out the playlist and Instagram as well as you can see these nails are completely different because I completely changed my mind. So right at the end you will see a completely different set. Well, hopefully this is edited and you can follow what I've done. Um, if not, um, just leave me any questions you have down below and I will try my best to answer them. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, what you think about this set. And I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to check out the description box for all discount codes and products used. And yeah. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, yep, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.